Some voices are just not for podcast. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. There's no such thing. Hey, we're gonna get into it now. Mm. Yep. Welcome to Delight Side of Life, where I, your host, Delight, speak to people I think I know about things I think I know of. And today I have someone I really, really think I know very well. And yeah, but you never know enough, eh? So that's why we have conversations and stuff. By the way, I hope everyone's well. I hope everyone's good. I hope you've subscribed to the podcast on your preferred podcast um, platform, um, whether it's YouTube, Spotify, all of these, iTunes. Yeah, just so you can keep up with when the next episodes drop so you don't have to like look for my profile and stuff. It's just going to alert you. So yeah, thank you for tuning in. Um, let's get to it. I'm here with my guest today, a good friend of mine called Patrick. Patrick what Kabongo, up, how up? are you, Patrick? I'm fine, I'm fine, fine. Fine, yeah. thanks for having me, you know. Yeah, yeah. A good friend of mine, I like that. I like the sound of that. Ah, uh, you didn't know. Mm? I didn't know. It's oh, nice to hear. I know, but oh. it's nice to hear, you know. Oh, yeah. so nice. Sweet. Nice to know that I'm on that level, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And how yeah. are you, Patrick? No, I'm good. I'm good. You know, you been surviving. You know, mm. during this COVID COVID phase. Yes. But at least we're on level one now, so that's good. Now I don't yeah. even know these levels anymore, bro. I'm on level one. That's All why I know is alcohol is available. Yeah, that's why we're on level oh, one, most. Mm. Mm. But at least your podcast has been keeping me entertained. So. Oh, distraction, yeah. Mm, distraction, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Let's see what's going on. Nah, yeah. I'm glad. Let's now you're okay. part of the podcast, so thank hey. you for for joining us. Um, today, Patrick, I want to speak about something that we can all relate to, but I don't think we speak of enough and we don't understand it well enough. Um, and that is attraction. Oh, attraction. Yeah. For instance, you spoke about how, you know, you didn't know that you are a particular type of friend in my life. Yeah. Um, but that comes from an attraction of the type of person you are. So, you know, you are the type of friend that I desire yeah. to have and therefore you know what i mean i yeah, think that yeah. comes from attraction and and, and a taste level that that you develop yeah. i think into yeah. saying okay this is the type of person i would want to be friends with sometimes it's, it's wrong sometimes it's right sometimes you're incorrect but you know, you're attracted it's, it's to what learn, you're attracted it's a learning to. curve yeah 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 so i want to start off by saying now um so what 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 do you think influences what we are attracted to where do those influences come for instance what made you attracted to me as a friend? In to terms say, of hey, that guy, okay, I want to chill with him more than just the day that yeah. I met him. Oh, I see, so I see. On, you know, because the attraction is so broad. So, yeah. I guess in terms of friendship, in terms of friendship, what made me attracted to to you was you were different. Mm. You know, that's what made me attracted. I was like, hey, but you know, this, this delight is different from the other people. Because yeah. remember, you are in the same grade. As my my brother, oh yeah, so then you guys brother. were all rappers. So that was like, oh okay, <laughs> you know, everybody's rapping. Yeah. yeah. But then there was one specific friend called Delight. Yeah. who was different. I was like, oh okay, mm. no nothing. I always like being the odd one out. What was so different about me? You, you spoke your mind. You, oh. know? <laughs> you know, you spoke your mind, and sometimes you you overspoke. It was like, eh, yeah. <laughs> you know, the people were like, eh, you know, sometimes Delight, he's, he's got no filter. I'm like, yeah. eh. <laughs> You know, so I was like, okay, but at least he speaks his mind. Yeah, true, true. Uh, but sometimes you you got a hold. So I was like, hey, Mara. yeah. Mm. He's, and also, as I say, while others were rapping, you were singing most. Oh, you were the singer of the group. That's the difference. So already you are different like that. Mm. So I was like, oh, okay, nah. you know. But by then I think we yeah. were, I was still just looking up. I was like, okay, delight would be mm. a cool friend to have, but right now it's my brother's friend, so. Wow, yeah. that's interesting, man. I appreciate but, that. Um, I, I think even when you mentioned um, the the role I played in the group, where I started doing music from at school, um, I was approached by the guy who started the group, and it was like, "Yo, join our group." And what attracted to me to the idea was the fact that I could be, uh, I could stand out, yeah, compared to everyone else. And I've seen that with my career that. I've, I've told a lot of rappers that rappers would rather feature me than other rappers because I'm not competing with them. I'm complimenting them. and But that also makes me always stand out. So I'd be on someone else's song and then I'd stand out. And then yeah. I would be the main attraction, the hook of the song. And yeah, I think that, that, that filters into my personality, into my life of just 
yeah. or it's just I don't know where it came from, but I think I was influenced by by let's say my mom and certain people where I'm like, but you're not the conventional type of person, yeah. but still people are surrounding you. People want to listen to you. You know, oh, I've yeah. seen a lot of people who people say are controversial and this guy talks too much, blah, blah, blah. And he's always doing this, but people still are attracted to them. Yes. For instance, what's happening with Kanye West, even to I'm be- posting about his crazy ass hairstyle, but we're attracted to I'm that. I'm attracted to that too. Because there's a lot of people uh, doing crazy weird stuff yeah. that we don't pay mind to. to, to we just like, that's too weird. I don't care about it. But there's people who do weird things that we're like, yo. But that thing is interesting. Yeah, it's weird, but there's something interesting. It's, a, it's and, attractive. And I think you see what you know? you're saying about your your moms. Yeah, yeah. That's also my mom's was one of the influences because mm. also her yeah, she's even though she's a doctor, yeah. but she's also been uh, unconventional. You yeah, know, she's, she's always one, been the different type different of different one. You know, who's yeah. like, hey, you go out. True. Here. So I guess you know the, I've always been attracted. True. But I guess society also influences. So I, I would say this with you, for instance. Let's let's go back to that now. Yeah. I, I was weirdly, I'm, I'm, I was attracted to the exact same thing. Yeah. Um, a lot of people, I think, who have leadership qualities, and leadership, I mean, you can stand out. Yeah. Usually, lean towards people who are the, the opposite of that, so that they can lead some people. You know, like yeah. Whereas with me, I think I've never thought like that. Which doesn't work in all aspects. Meaning you don't take advantage of your leadership qualities because you're amongst other leaders. Yeah. But I'm always attracted to other leaders because mm. I get frustrated. Like the, how they say ignorance is bliss. Yeah, It's true because I hate to sit around people who are ignorant or don't know what I know. <laughs> no. and then you're just there the whole day, you're frustrated. I want to sit with people who can help me grow and develop. So I don't want to be a leader amongst followers because uh-huh. I'm not going to learn from these people and nor do I want to... You know what I mean? So... So mm. I've I've also been attracted to your very alternative way of yeah. thinking, and and I think anyone can attest to that that you are a very different person in almost everything you do. Um, <laughs> thank you. Even thank the you. woman you're attracted to. For, <laughs> thank you. For, yeah. For instance, um, would you say that, um, for instance, when it comes to attraction, I'm I'm familiar with the term that a lot of men are attracted to the woman. That resemble their their mom. The mom, yeah. Would you say that that's the type of woman you're attracted to? Do you think that has influenced your attractors your attraction towards women, or yeah? Yes, because like, I, mean, I guess I, I guess I guess I, who your mom is is who your dad was attracted yeah, to. So I would say influence. attraction in the sense of uh, personality wise. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that's that's a woman. That's a, that's how it's influenced to my mom. Oh, that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. Personality wise, but. But not, in terms not of necessarily physique. physique, yeah, not necessarily with the physique. I would say maybe a bit of the physique because I'm also attracted to short, to short yeah. women, and my mom is also short. Yeah. So I guess, but the physique is more personality because I'm attracted to strong women, you mm. know, or who, who. But I think physique, we'd need, we'd need to go back to your mom back at your age. age. Yeah. Yeah. We co- we can't <laughs> necessarily. That would be kind of weird. Like imagine you looking at your like sixty year old mom. Like yeah, I want the woman like this. So, but okay. Like, but, but mindset, personality, like that. That just advances. It's, it's like you kind of who you are so, forever. So so that means you know? <laughs> if you have to talk like my mom back at that age. Yeah. Like physique you can wise. Back, yeah. Uh, total opposite of what you like. Of what we like. Physique wise, what my mom was and what I like. Would you like to describe what you like? <laughs> uh, what I like, I do like. A yes. bit of meat, you know. Her mom uh, doesn't uh, have meat. No, ma- oh, back in the not, day, not that much. Not that much. Back in the mm. day, she was more slender. Yeah. Yeah. So what I like, you know, a bit of meat. Some might say a bit more meat. Yeah. More than the average <laughs> guy, you know. Yeah. I like yeah. Uh, what, what? I like like mm. figures, you know. Mm. So my mom, she was slender, as I say. So physique wise, no. But then now, so I'm as uh, attracted to figures. But yeah. with that personality, because the personality of my mom was, uh, she was different and she was always like tough. Yes. That, that attitude. Yeah, you know, yeah. she has that <laughs> don't care attitude mm. and we confront you. Fears. Yeah. yeah. She so yeah. confronts and she's always helping the lesser person. Yeah. Like, okay. I think, so, yeah, she, so, she would find that, because uh, I'm, I'm, I know your mom very well and mm-hmm. I like to speak to your mom because of those things. Like, it's so uh-huh. nice to pick up brain. But yeah, she 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 wants a challenge. Yes, I think a lot of people live life wanting it easy and 
so they go with the flow yeah like i'm just gonna agree i'm just gonna not argue and no, i think your mom is that is, is no, very busy. different with that and yeah. there's nothing wrong with the you are like your mom yeah you, you, you I, want I, the challenge you i want think to there's a quote my mom even said one time yeah she was like the way I, the way she sees it see, i'm in love with the challenge a bit too much you know the mm. free who you yourself me, me myself yeah, yeah. so she, she said that it might just be a problem because you know like some of my relationships also have failed i saw it that yeah you know after i got you know after i accepted the challenge but as soon as we started dating it fizzled out that tracks and i lost that traction mm. i was like was i am i attracted to the girl or was i just attracted to the challenge that's one thing i had to were figure you just out attracted to to the challenge yeah it's safe what, what was the attraction mm. is it the girl is it the girl or is it the challenge is yeah, it just the yeah, challenge yeah. like the thrill yeah yeah, 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 yeah i had to yeah, figure yeah. that out and i was like oh, okay you know mm. cause so I mean, it wouldn't have mattered who the girl was yeah as long as the experience, experience. came with this person you'd go there i would go there mm. so now that's when I, i had to start thinking okay let, let me also be attracted to the girl because as soon as the change is complete mm. i lose that attraction and the honeymoon phase is over was, wow so my mom was like you know once i once i realized i, I like the free and I, and, I, and i told myself let me you know let me get get attracted to the girl more yeah so you know the relationship lasts longer mm. i have to now look for other challenges you know like maybe maybe going yeah. to pick and pay if there's only 30 minutes left i'll yeah. wait for 10 minutes left then i'll go you know that time limit mm. I mean, that, that attraction <laughs> that rush yeah, yeah i'm attracted to the rush oh, okay yeah you're attracted to, to the, the rush. rush yeah I, the rush i feel yeah. i for once i for one um would say when it comes to women i've only re- recently realized mm-hmm. that um I'm, i'm more attracted to stability no challenges mm. and mm. if it is a challenge then we we both working on the challenge so if you have problems in your life mm-hmm. or you have past trauma whatever you are knowledgeable about it yeah and therefore you want me to assist you or you willing to listen mm. but i'm not i'm not attracted to someone i have to like fight with to make her realize the problems mm. you know okay. so i want someone who I've, i've come to realize that i want someone from uh, a, a household where hopefully both her parents were there if not yeah. she still had like a male figure around if the dad wasn't oh, okay. there but she 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 somehow is stable in a sense of you know what i mean just seeing the world the way i see the world yeah so that everything else can become our challenges and the reason why um i prefer this i think is because career is so unstable i'm yeah. attracted to chaos yeah. when it comes to my career i'm oh. attracted to not going to a nine to five and knowing what's going on i i like new challenges every day now i have a podcast today yeah. you know tomorrow it's this tomorrow it's that you know i have this project that project music i'm not just a r&b singer next thing my piano is here i'm yeah. gonna do that you yeah. know whereas it's not a musician thing to do because there's musicians who just stay on one lane yeah. but yeah i'm very chaotic there and i think i need the balance and i think all people are like that a lot of my nine to five friends and stuff mm like the crazy world that's why like on weekends they're always partying they can't get enough mm. um i'm not that type of guy who like has to party um and also like like you said your relationship situation yeah <laughs> they, you know they like chaos they like okay. drama and stuff and i think yeah and yeah career wise i think that's also what attracted me, me to you as yeah your career career wise yeah. chaos because i'm also attracted to chaos mm. you know i always call it the uh, organized chaos That's yeah, why I yeah, call yeah. my life because I'm attracted to, as you say, going to nine, nine to five, and then now not knowing what the challenge is, then different challenges coming. So, oh, so even right. career-wise, so you, career-wise, you I get are... bored, you know, because I remember when I when I try to do okay, let me try to just do the nine to five yeah. without the chaos, you know, mm. put everything prioritized. I get bored with the project. I would get bored. You know? Yeah. So yeah. I would need it. I would need something. I would need a wrench in the plan. Like mm. oh, okay, I'm actually attracted to chaos because now it makes me think. It makes me. It allows me to think of a so, plan. So let's speak about the chaos now. Yeah. Um, does chaos is is chaos good? Yes. It, it, uh, organ. That's why organized chaos is good. You I know, mean, okay. Let's speak like, about not the girl you like, the type of girls you like, because they chaotic also in the way you mention it. Okay. is that does it work in that is that organized it's, chaos if you're working with someone else who has her own plans yeah it's organized chaos because isn't it too much chaos is not good 
you know that's when yeah. it, you know it mustn't go too much you know just a little bit of chaos a little yeah. bit of a little bit of crazy okay know, too much crazy now that becomes a, a bad thing you know too much of anything is yeah. a bad thing so mm. when, for me when i talk about organized chaos it's like you know in terms of the girl as you said yeah. you put it correctly you know she she knows her voice yes. bit, but well, and i i know mine yes. and we've both talked about it that we're gonna work on this and this yes but we're not now gonna now fully change this mm. you know some things are gonna be like this is where we stand this this is our belief yeah 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 this is my stance okay. but sometimes you know we need that attitude that crazy that small fight <laughs> yeah you, you know i, well, I you need, like that yeah i need her to yeah. be, be like okay now think you know i don't like it that much i like it like i mean i i like it put on the chaos can be there but it must be put on so if i'm speaking to you then you go me, into a character me, me. no knowing oh. that you we, we both know you play oh that's yeah. what i mean like yeah but it must be like yo okay now he's serious now she's yeah. not like i don't know what's going on and i'm oh, confused yeah. and she's just crazy today yeah that, and i that, don't that, know if she's gonna come back to <laughs> earth like no i don't want that yeah that's too much i can't crazy. do that no 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 that's too much crazy yeah what you're describing that's what i do is when we're serious when yeah. we're serious it's serious you know when we're playful we're playful so that chaos that okay. chaos also yeah but i guess i can i, I can handle also a bit of when the, uh, when we see that you kind of don't have control yeah where i don't have control yeah, i, I can handle that. i can handle a bit of it but not too much i'll be yeah. able to see it and then i'll be like okay you I'm know someone who needs needs to needs to control my life i need to know which one i oh. need to know i don't need to find if we bring up next week i knew already i and could feel it it's not a shock Linda, I know I was flopping, or yeah. Linda, I know when you were showing me, or vele vele. But people who are up and down and hey, hey, left, right, I don't know what's going on. I, yeah. It's too much for me, bro. So, so for instance, now I'm someone who, for many years, um, maybe still now, but I've I've leaned more to what's important. Mm. But I'm attracted to what's not attracted to me, mm. especially. I'm referring to the opposite sex. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I don't understand why we this way. Yeah. Why are we all this way where we like and we love things that clearly yeah. you're showing you, hey, my guy, I don't feel like that. And, and there's a desire for, there is a desire for mm. them because you attract, you kind of want the same attention. Like, yeah. you, know, you want them to be attracted to you. You don't, you don't just want something that doesn't want you. That doesn't feel good. So, so why not go for the thing that wants me back? Like, why mm. not? You know, and why? And can you unlearn that? You know, it's it's it's, it's hard because what you think is true, it's hard mm. to unlearn because the thing that wants you back, uh, that's the ones we usually now just throw away. You know, we forget about them. Yeah, you you, you in, in terms of the yeah. opposite sex, I would just, I wouldn't say throw away. Let me use the term break up. Yeah, or, yeah. or, 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 or it doesn't even you neglect. You yeah, I neglect. I cause I'm, I'm like no, but you know, them. she wants me. You yeah. know, we she wants me so. She's always there. This is my safety net. Oh, yeah, yeah. But no, yeah. I want, you know, the one who's who put me as a safety net. Yes. You know, basically. And it's like if I was just with the, my my so called safety net, yeah. things would go more smoother. You know, the relationship would last longer. Mm. We'd have more things in common. You know. So I've tried to unlearn it a bit by trying to date. You know, like trying to date more. What the different the the type of girl that you usually you wouldn't go for? Yeah, that's oh. what I, that's what I'm trying to do. What's the success in that? Is there any success? Yeah, there's a bill. There was a, my last relationship. You went more for what's for, what, important. Yeah, what's important. So mm. there was there was a bit of success, and then the the future looked promising until yeah. we hit a stag. You know, Which, oh, okay. we we had a problem. It was you know one of those future problems of oh no families won't accept each okay. other. Okay, yeah. it was beyond you guys. It was beyond but us. She, it was not. Oh, every, it was not oh, okay. uh, uh, one of. Yeah, as, it wasn't as, between. As, it wasn't a relationship dynamic. Well, yeah, it was the external factor. External factor there. So oh, that's why. Okay. So, because I I realized that before I tried my last relationship. Yeah. All my previous relationships. Yes. All of them, I was going for someone who out of your league. Out Let's of my just league. Put it simple. Yes. Yeah. Out of my league, and I was like, I gotta go, you know. So, so sometimes yeah. it worked. That's why. And it, out of your league doesn't always mean better. Yeah. It could mean 
lower. Lower. <laughs> it, it, as long it, as they not where you are. Yeah. Or they don't want what you it, want. Or exactly. They're not, they're not so for it didn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Because I look where, wherever it is. Wherever yeah. it is, and I always then yeah. after I get that tension, then I'm like, okay, now we start dating, mm. and then I would always, always, they would always last maybe a month, sometimes two, yeah, th- three months. You know, don't always, they wouldn't last long. Or, I find it pointless because you end up wasting so much time on chasing someone instead yeah. of being in a relationship with someone instead of growing and building because i've definitely been in situations where i could just be myself i could just be free i could not have money one day i could like this person likes me for who i am dude and that person really wants to be with me and that's they get excited when i wake up in the morning i'm not like Shh, i hope they sent a message yeah. it's there it's it's definitely sent and if they didn't oh. send it or if i want to call them mm. more than the usual amount I don't feel like ish, I'm calling too much. Ish, ish. Yeah. That person's waiting for my call. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like we're even competing to and give each other attention. Whereas with the other relationships, you feel like you even start counting like, yo, I shouldn't do this too much. And then, you know, you're doing yeah. all of this unnecessary work just to be with someone whereby I think friendships should be very similar to, I mean, relationships should be very similar to friendships, which are effortless. Yeah. I, except for the things that you are building towards like obviously you know you want to maintain a romance you want to maintain yeah. cool that's fine but uh, communicating uh, and, hey. and attraction like wanting her to kiss you back is it's, a mission then you, you something shouldn't wrong. be with her bro but if you look that's like a gremlin to her and, uh, but she looks like sleeping beauty to yeah. you I think that's what that's what was wrong with my previous relations before the mm. last one you know yeah. Uh, very, very, very true that I spent mm. so much time on the chasing first. Mm. First, I chase mm. because me, for some reason, as yeah. soon as you say you don't want me, ne? yes, I like the chase. Mm. So, the more you say, you know, no, the more you say, I don't, you don't want me, you keep the more, it's the, the more, more you want the person, yeah, the more I want you, which is the opposite yes. of what we spoke about when you mentioned um, so, the girl that wants you but you don't want her yeah it's the fact that the more she wants you the more you don't want her yeah. so it's, it's this whole cycle so, right yeah so the, you chasing a girl who doesn't want you she's chasing a guy who doesn't want, want her. her yeah and everyone is just it's, in this cycle like a, instead of us going to where we're supposed to go <laughs> instead of the, basically what we, just what walk we have to backwards. Do, walk backwards Reverse, turn, turn back yeah. turn that around. girl look at you you look at fire, fire, but the fire. thing is now, what, what has happened as <laughs> i say that some all of some of the time yeah. after chasing all yes. of a sudden now she's like yes yeah, and but I'm you like, know what it is. And I'm like, oh. No, there's, there's a difference between someone who was playing hard to get because she was just yeah. being cautious with her heart and she's been hurt before and you reminding her of the guy who hurt her. And by the way, the only guy who could have hurt her was the guy she really liked. Yeah. So if she's playing hard in that regard, that you reminding her of the guys that she likes and she's trying to get away from. Yeah. That's that's different when you were working hard and you finally got her. Yeah. That's that's not the guy we're talking about. We're talking about a guy a dog, you're not attractive to this girl. She does not want you. I think you are lucky if some if you find a girl who doesn't want you and you're good for her and then later on she wants you. Hopefully she was like listening to certain people and but usually I don't think it's a genuine transition. Yeah. And I think usually people get to that point once they've once they've lost something good. That's when they start saying, Wait the king, it's not about what I really, really like or who I really, really want. It's what it's all about who I need, yeah. who's who's best for my life, who's best for my child and yeah. stuff. But while you're chasing her, she's realizing that I guy doubt her. She's realizing maybe she's the running short on money. Maybe she's the running short on sex. Whatever you can provide her for that moment where she's just waiting for the guy that she's waiting for. I've I've been that guy who's been used, my guy. I've I've been used there. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Ah, lying doesn't get me far. Eh? Ah. Mm, mm. Yes. 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 Yeah. So, so do you think we should spend time in trying to convince the person that no, I am good for you, please, please? Because we'll, but then that person's not good for you. Like we're so focused on 
Do you get what I'm trying to say? So you looking at this girl, yo, she looks so beautiful. What sharp in that regard? She she satisfies your 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 sexual what, what desires. But if you have to convince her that you are good for her, then she's probably not good for you. Maybe you are good for her. But she's definitely not good for you. The fact that you need to be convincing her. Because that means she I mean any anyone who who, who follows you because you had to force them is not genuinely a follower of you. They don't genuinely listen or believe in your doctrine or anything, you know? I see what you, I see what you it's say. not a genuine interest. I see what you're saying, but you, 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 you say then that means you need to keep convincing that person throughout that relationship. Yeah. You are trying to I, convince. I, I, I <laughs> Let, this is how you convince. Yeah. I, 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 I mm. my mind, I was already yeah. Already said yes. But I was, yeah. But because once I look at it, those eyes yeah okay, that is good for you mm. yeah just because you're good for her doesn't mean she's good usually yeah usually it's, not the, it's not the case and usually the one who's good for you it's the one yeah you didn't have to change but the problem is as you say sometimes our mind you know receive that yes and then for a second or even for five minutes i think the moment that she has to convince you is the moment you you look at her like she's our oh, and I you ain't worth anything. Like I'll put it this way. There was a there was a girl that I, I, I really liked and I desired and I was chasing, blah blah blah. This has happened a few times, but I'm speaking about a more recent one. And yeah, oh, bro, I'm chasing this person and every time I'm trying to show them this, trying and, and this person a girl will let you know that hey, my guy, you are not the guy because she'll mention the type of guy. Yeah. Or she'll mention the guy, Ish, this mang mang. And she'll complain about him or say he's a problem, but and act like she doesn't like him but no why is his name always coming up you on some yeah that means she's she doesn't like that it's like nah she actually likes that type of person she just wishes that person was you mm. or you were that you know like had had some, some of your some qualities. qualities he cared enough or he you know took me out like you would you know what i mean yeah. so yeah i'm trying to convince this person try not realizing that deep down i may i'm becoming more and more unattractive yeah. because the guy that she likes is not doing this mm. This, the way the way that I'm gonna make her want me is to not call her, is to not listen to her nonsense, or her crying about so and so, is to act like I'm, a, you know what I mean. But you, but I am who I am. But as much as I am who I am, I am that guy to someone else. Yeah. I am that guy who doesn't call, who doesn't whatever to someone else. Well, we kind of all that, nah. We're we all somebody who doesn't call. You know? We all some we all somebody's fuck boy. Hey, we're all somebody's fuck boy. We're all somebody's best friend. Yes, you know, yes, we yes, yes. Bodies, yes mm. so, we're all so we all we can't, we must stop being victim, victim, yeah. yeah nah? The only way to now remove yourself from yeah. the situation is now having to delete everything to stop conversation. Yeah. Because you're not you're not you're not you're the people who you know like you but you don't like them. Yeah. Because you because uh, you're, you're, you're giving idea. them a false hope false and stuff. False hope. So you have an idea. Yes. Also, you can't say, oh no, you know, I'm the victim here. She used me. You know. Yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> and that's what sometimes we try to, to do. But yeah. you have an idea that over here, I'm just a friend. Yeah. You have an idea. Ah, why you eat it, Joe? Why you feel? Yeah. But you're in such denial, bro. Because. And not realizing the longer you stay here, the more attracted you get to this person. Yeah. And it's just, it's fucking you over. And like, so that's what happened with this person. Like, I was like, yo kept on chasing this person doing great and this person gives you hope right yeah. and they say no i do like you i'm just not ready for this i'm not ready for that but eh, but uh, suddenly they're ready to date so and so but they're never ready for you right but you still keep on convincing it's, it's, yourself it's more touch of the arm, yeah. that that keeps you there yeah and then cool i had you know what happened with her happened with her and then i was like no man I actually neglected someone who really liked me and I also liked her. Someone who's gorgeous and everything. This is a person I used to date. But I knew that I had her, right? Yeah. So before we dated I was very attracted to her and I was like, yo, yo, yo. Until I had to I didn't need to chase anymore. Then I, I got trick I tricked myself again thinking ah, I'm secure and I fell into that trap of when someone likes me, I don't really like them. Yeah. Even if I so even this girl who I was chasing, this other one. If she ended up liking me, I would, you know, and then I realized like, yo, I need to know how to stop this thing. Because even if I get what I want, if what I want wants me, I stop wanting it. Yeah. And now I'm never going to be happy. So, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's why I even look in Jay-Z and Beyonce. I'm always like, you know, Beyonce ain't Beyonce to Jay-Z. He has her. Yeah. 
that's why he can do whatever you know because that's how it works bro so i i realized that i don't want to regret losing someone who could mean more than just a physical sexual pleasure to me because there are kids that i want there is a marriage i might want there is so many there is the person who's gonna call me when i need her to call me who's gonna answer my phone call and maybe i can unlearn maybe i can learn to like people who like me yeah. and i've started i started working on that on some let me not entertain someone who doesn't entertain me it was hard like you keep going back and like ish, ish, for a while like over here bro and but i saw that it's possible yeah. and now that i'm 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 okay weirdly now i'm getting people the ones who didn't text back are suddenly checking up on you oh. hey how are you are you fine hey, you're like oh so vele vele this thing works like this bro yeah. Cause they like wondering, hey, this guy ain't got time for me. Yeah. Cause the girl can also chase as yeah. soon as you stop chasing. But then I don't. But you'll never like her. Like I used to think maybe I must stop chasing her so she can chase me. Then the girl I like will chase me. But by the time she chases me, I don't like her. So it's, it's you can't reverse this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Ish, 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 ish. Yeah. And we confuse the two. Mm. Like, oh no, she's giving attention not because she's attracted, but as you say, because she needs money, or because when you stop completely talking to her, mm. and all of a sudden mm. when I are like, yo, yeah, she's attracted to me, and that means I stand a chance. Yeah. Attention and attraction, two different. Yo. No, they're connected. You know what? She's giving me attention. Means one thing. Yeah. yeah. I think that's what people are confused with. That's our problem. Yeah. We were not even told that hey. yo, when you go out there, this is what you look for. This is what matters. Yeah, like I don't know why. Yeah, we were just told that, you know. Yeah. If she's a beautiful girl, you are go for it. But then there's a point at which okay, we think we're gonna always get what we need when we need it. Yeah. So when you're young, you're just dating for fun. No one's okay, guys. Let's yeah. talk for men. No, no, twenty-year-old boy is looking for a wife. Yeah. For the most part, unless he goes to a specific church, you know. Sometimes they push that vibe. Um, you're just looking for one, two, and three. You're not looking for stability. What to sharp. But now you might find stability at that age, because girls do think about marriage very young. So here you find this girl. She's best fit. She's the best fit for when you're gonna wow. turn thirty and stuff. Yeah. But now you think, ah, I'll get there when I'm thirty. There'll be another one. Yeah. Kanti, you, you throw away so and so and so and twenty five. You keep throwing away these ones who clearly show that, yo, do I do anything for you, bro? Yeah. And you keep chasing these ones who don't want you. You turn thirty, now you're looking for it, and now you can't find it because what are you? You are that guy who's who's chasing something, and once you chase this thing, it doesn't want you because yeah. you. The desperation it shows that this guy's hungry, shame. He really wants a wife. He even goes on Facebook, eh, if you can't cook. Yeah. Vele, vele, the cooks are even looking at your message like, oh, well, this guy. <laughs> Why is he so direct like this? You find out if I can cook or not. Like, hey. But the first day you're chatting to her on WhatsApp, hey, can you cook? Hey, can you include? Now suddenly this is top priority and they can feel, no, man, you're a bit too much, my guy. Like, you know, I'll even if I can't cook, I'll want to cook for you if you're not this weird. Yeah. <laughs> all, all what we like doing is that you keep numbers. You know, when you were yeah. growing up, when you were younger, it was cool to mm. have numbers. Hey, collection, collection store. Yeah, store like, yeah, who has more numbers? Check it, check it. Yeah, yeah, our priorities got, were not. I've got 10 numbers, so mm. I'll just save the number. So even when I'm 30, I'll give them a call. Yeah, and yeah. And then, like, then when you turn 30, those ones now have moved on. To, True. To have moved on to someone. Or, or they're not even the type of package that they were. Yeah, so yeah. now you're like, Ish, she has a child. She has a child Ish, she's what right. what. Ish. And, the thing is and then you're like, like, I don't know what I say, but you, me, I'm attracted to, to women with kids. You know? How? Because I, like, Tell us why. That, it shows that, you know, basically, okay, they can have kids. You're fertile. Yeah, they're fertile. And also, that uh, it shows that they're able to care. So maturity, because I feel like women oh, mature, okay. 
They've proven that they can take care of a kid. You don't have to find out. You don't have to find out. It shows that like this one, they're at a different level. Yeah, there is. There is yeah, a different maturity. As soon as, for the most as part. As they have the child, now they've got somebody that they, uh, yeah. who they depend. Yeah, it's tricky because yeah. we must also re- remember that nothing will come before a kid, yeah. and even if you are the father of that kid, the kid will come before. But at least you are the father. Yeah. So now, when you are not the father of this child, and you like, let me put it this way: what I've noticed personally, I even told someone, I'm like, yo, women with kids, for the most part, I'm just saying what I'm used to. They date very quickly. They get into the relationship very quickly. But on the other hand, they also leave it very quickly. As quick as they get in, is as, as quick as they get out, because they have other things to prioritize. So, are you gonna qualify as the father of my kid? No. Okay, on to the next one. And also limited time, right? They they more on the thing of I need to get married. I need to, you know, I don't have much to work with. I don't have many options. So when I do find a guy who wants a kid, yo, let's make it official. Because, you know, who am I? I'm not out here trying to look around. But then with women without kids, they take long to get in the relationship because they're still working on, they have time to work on themselves, career, wara wara, and they have options. They have way more options because there's way more guys approaching them because there is a difference in, in regards to when guys find out there's a kid, a lot of yeah. guys pull away. Yeah, I mean, I pull Especially I when it comes to being in a... No, but you need to pull out. <laughs> After marriage, you can pull in. Yeah, no. Once I start dating a woman with kids, I tell you before time that I know I'm not going to be first priority. So I'm not going to Yeah. like it. And if you put me as yes, first priority, yes. if you put me before your kid, then there's yeah, something be. wrong with you. Yeah. So I agree with you. Before. Yeah. That's why I tell them straight that I know there's limited time. So don't worry about one, two, three. Yes. One, one, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Yeah. I always tell them that to us. True. Okay, I don't feel like doing it. So mm. mature. I'm doing it. And I, I hear you. Too, but I'm attracted. Yeah, you are. You are. I don't know who influenced me on that one. Uh, who? Uh, <laughs> you, know don't <laughs> you don't know. I, I, I thought you hinting or something. I don't, no, I'm saying I don't know. Oh, Maybe okay. you, you. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not attracted to anything like. Um, when it comes to like your package, oh, and I'm attracted to personality, personality you know. looks, whatever. Okay. But I'm not. I don't. I don't have a particular criteria. Like it's like age, right? When we when we grew up, yeah. um, in high school, it was like one year was too much. I would yeah. have not be in matric dating a grade eleven. Yeah, that was like, hey, my god, what are you doing at Brig going to the grade eleven side? Yeah, that's one year, bro. And by the way, I'm I'm one year younger than the grade. So I was the actual age. <laughs> but I'd still be like, nah, nigga, I'm in matric or whatever it is. Yeah. So then, you know, so you can't be with a grade eight while you're in matric. Not in high school. It felt weird. Mm-hmm. Some guys did it. I didn't. Most of us didn't. Robert. You get into varsity, you're like, it's sweet again, ma. Yeah. It's, but that one still that looks one. nice. Yeah. Man. So now you, your age, the age gap increases, it increases, it increases. And... It happens with everything else. You're always like, this is who I am. This is what I won't go for. This is blah, blah. Ah, my guy. I realized I'm, I'm done with that. And I realized a lot of that is influenced by society. Mm. Making me feel bad about something that I'm okay with. Yeah. So you say, but there's a girl. I didn't meet her with a kid because kids are not allowed in clubs. Or, you know, they're not going to push the nightlife. Mm. Or a kid's not on Facebook. Wherever you meet this person. And now you're going to meet her for a while before you see a kid. Mm-hmm. And now you see a kid, and then you become unattracted. Mm-hmm. I don't understand that. That's not. Then you are not attracted. Hey, it had you, nothing. That, had that's nothing an external factor. That's not her. She can be without the kid. Yeah, it's not attached to her hip. You so know. where? What are you talking about? You, you, so yeah. I realized, like, yo, man, let me not put anything and say this is who I am. I don't yeah. know five kids, two kids, no kids, whatever. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't know if, if you have a disability, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, I'm yet to find out, you know, where my limits are. 
Yeah. Because I have said no to something the one year. Yeah. And then two years after I'm dating that type of thing. So that one you are one year that, that other one could come back to me and say, Hey when I thought you I said thought you, you don't you know, date. But, yeah, but you grow and you change. You realize what certain things don't matter, bro. Yeah. And sometimes what you really need is in who you don't want well, it. True. And I, I go for what I need right now. Yeah. I go for the... water, not for beer. <laughs> well, it's you know? the opposite there. No. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell with the beer thing with the beer, if I go for water I need beer but I go for so water so with friendship yeah. how would you say that um, it it affects us in this in a similar way like have you had trouble with choosing the right friends and you know going with the crew the cool crowd the cool or going with what you know what I mean or being oh, attracted I'm, to someone who clearly is not attracted to you or you know some friends would use you and it's like but you, you can't stop you can't uh, stop being their friend and to the to you 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 seem very disposable to yeah. them but they're not disposable to you no matter what they do to you whereas yeah. you haven't done anything negative but they're ready to let you go or they're ready to be different around different people uh, I guess, like it, it, uh, i see i see what you mean yeah i think i've never really felt that that but i've seen it happen mm. you know where people are disposable even in high school because isn't it, because I was so different, right? I was able to see every time maybe if a friend was using me, I was also using that friend. Oh, so you're a user? Yes. Ah, when I, when I was so I, you right I, I, I cheated with the cool kids and also with the aunt cool kids. I was in. Oh, you were those guys. I was there, yeah. so I, I, always, I was always on on mm. both sides of the coin. So I used to have those ones which are like, okay over here now. Yeah, you're abusing yeah. this one. So okay. other people used to tell me sometimes like no, but you know this friend is not mm. a good friend. You know he's a bad friend, and that, and yes, if I if I was gonna yeah. he in terms of on, on paper, yeah. he'd be considered a bad friend. Mm. You know, one of the friends where I would not let him in the house. Yeah, you know, I would see, but I I would see him at the park. Yes, you know, because I know he's gonna mm. use me. I'm, I'm also using him. But the reason why I'm not letting him in the house is because if he comes in the house, he's now gonna steal from you guys. He won't no, steal from me, but it's gonna. I get steal. what you're saying. Yeah. Now, now your friendship is affecting someone else. I see. So I'm like, okay. So those people, yeah. I need to cheat. Okay, I get Because they they serve that purpose, you know. We get there. We have fun. We, we, <laughs> Don't we, say we, what we get. you do. It's like oh, you're okay. about to describe all the bad things you do with your friends. No, um, I think my personality, for the most part, has protected me from people who aren't attracted to me mm. because I'm not in the middle. Yeah. Either you you hate me or you love me. Yeah. You can't like me. It's, it's you know like this DMX has a saying is like not everybody likes me but those who 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 do love me. Yeah. Not everybody likes me but those who do love me. And so with me I've noticed that for the most part, I always saw it as a good thing. I was, okay, be yourself, how about just go, speak your mind, whatever. You are right, which is wrong. I'm not always right. But for many years, I'm like, this is what I believe in. This is whatever, sharp, sharp. And only the strong could survive with me. Yeah. Because I'm a bit like, you know what I mean? I'm a bit too much, you know, yeah. especially emotionally, I, I'm, I, I'm not there. Like, I have my emotions and stuff, but I don't let down. Like, I, I'm not, I'm not, I don't give in to emotions that easy. So, a fight won't break out because of what you said to me. Yeah. Therefore, I'm going to say something worse to you. Yeah. That's, that's where it's going to go. Or anything like that. I'm just very, like, you know. Um, so, that has forced people to say, okay, if I'm going to be friends with this guy, yeah. I, I genuinely just, I, I'm cool with this guy. I'm not just, I'm not, I don't have friends of friends, friend of a friend, in yeah. Yeah, just around me. <laughs> You, you know what I mean? If you're visiting yeah. my house, you really like me, you really know me, and you are tested. Yeah. You are tested on being fake. If you fake, I'm going to call you out. If you did this, I'm going to say, but guy, you said this yesterday. Yeah. I'm not going to let it pass because yeah. I'm going to question you because I want you to question me because I want to grow. Yeah, I don't want to be fake because I, I need that pressure to be, be a better person, and that's how I've always valued friendships, you know? And though it hasn't always been a good thing because sometimes now you push away people who can't survive that but are still good people who still genuinely like the person you really are those people who can see beyond that and see oh but Tabo is a bit soft Tabo is whatever yeah. you know and sometimes you push those people too far yeah so i also realized okay there's a way to balance it out but for the most part 
Um, I, I listened to what my mom said. My mom always used to tell me, and this is something my granddad told my mom, is that um, if everybody likes you, yeah. then there's something wrong with you. Mm. And my mom always used to tell me that. On top of that, now I'm the youngest, and I'd always see my mom telling my brothers about their friends. Yeah. So and so is not really your friend. So and so did what? Nah, yeah, that friend of yours. And my brothers wouldn't wouldn't let go of the, some of these friends. And I saw what would happen. Like you know, I would mm. see how all oh, that fucks you over. Yes. And I'm someone who was very big on, if you know me, you know my mother. Yeah. I will introduce you to my mother. My mom will ask where is so and so. So. My mom would never tell me that a friend is not good. Yeah. That I would introduce to her. So because of her teachings, I already knew how to filter out subconsciously, I guess. Yeah. Uh, you know, so by the time I bring someone home, ah, that person, I don't even have to train them. Yeah. That person fits well. They know how to greet properly. They know how to respect my mother. Yeah. They also know yeah. how to treat me so I don't come and complain to my mom and say, this is what happened. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? So, I so that's, that's how I... I think I was molded to like what I like in friendships. I just wish I was more harsh and more cutthroat when it came to love and romance. But I think the biggest problem with love is the physicality, yeah. the touch, the feel, those things that but, make you not care about character as much as you do with friendship. Because I think, yeah, I think... Because if you, if you, if you, if you flop, flop as a friend, food. you yeah. can't make up by kissing me. Yeah, true. <laughs> and, and you can't... You're a flop, you're a you're flop. flop, you're a flop. <laughs> Because I always used to say, what I what always used to say in terms of friendship, yeah. that I give you a rope and the blueprints. Mm. So the rope is to hang yourself with. Mm. So if you continue to the flop, rope and, the? and bl a blueprints, the bl the blueprints to our friendship. Oh, the bl blueprint. Yeah, okay, blueprints. Yeah. 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 So then now you can either grow, or you can continue flopping. Mm. And now you, the rope is long enough that I'm gonna give you enough chances. Okay. But now if you continue to, but do you, you have really have a, a measurement on your rope? Yeah. Do you count how many times? Yeah, I start to count yeah. and then I calculate that. It's okay, like a, now, a ten, 10 mark. Or now you're at the 10 mark and oh. this one's about but to But you don't tell them this. Hang himself. You keep it to yourself. I keep it to myself and it's then okay. as soon as you hang yourself, you're going to, I just, you know, take you now as an associate. Yeah. You know, I no more invest as much as before. Yeah, you know, I, I be, guess with me, it's not as particular like, you know, cause, um, a rope and for me, it's it's just an imbalance. If, if, yeah, but if I've, I feel more sad or more like you're not contributing or you're not yeah. doing anything for me compared to what you are doing for me, yeah. it's over. And yeah. I'm gonna feel it maybe not not immediately, but for a while I'm gonna think about it. Like, yo, I'm this person for the most part I'm not feeling nice. Yeah. And even when they do something nice, it doesn't match up to the bad thing they did. Uh, or whatever. And then yeah. I don't calculate, I just feel and then I also don't like being a broken record. Because I don't like people coming to me with the same issues. Yeah. Yo, yo, so and so did this, so and so did this. Because I, I get tired. I'm like, yo, dog, I'm I can only give you advice once, my guy. Yeah. You know, I'm not here to listen to people complain. I want to solve things. So if I'm like that towards people, I don't want to go and complain to someone in, about the same person. Yeah. And therefore, I'm hard on myself and I'm like, okay, dog, hey, dude, it's about time, you know? Because there's a bit of pride that I have with that, that I can't look stupid for too long. Yeah. True, no, true. that's my personal way of approaching no. it. but yeah but, but let's get back you are saying yeah you know yeah you can't kiss kiss a friend oh you want to mention that part yeah, yeah. yeah true true you that's, can kiss but you know what i'm, I'm no i know I'm, that's I'm what i'm saying i'm mentioning I'm yeah yeah <laughs> i always i always oh, say that i think when i judge love yeah. and someone was telling me no it's not different and i'm like i think it's the same i think all love is the same yeah uh mom and 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 just certain things are more, you know, where people have less of a limit. Like a mom is not, her limits are like le way less. Yes. Like you can fuck up so many times, yes. it's just different. But the action of showing that I care yeah. is the same. Even if, uh, or the way in which, you, oh, you know, showing you care is showing you care. So yeah. there's different ways you do it. You can call, you can yeah. make sure that someone's wound is healed. You yeah. can, all sorts of, but care it's is care. And all people are going to treat you the same. My friends are going to help me if I'm sick. My yeah. mother's going to help me if I'm sick. You know, if if, I, if I'm dis if I'm lost for a day or whatever, my friends are going to check out, my mom's going to check out. My mom would probably be worried more quicker because she's used to hearing from me more often. Yeah. You know, and I'm more of a priority in her life. But it's all the same, you know. That's how I've seen it. Yeah. And family, and the only difference with the romantic love, 
Yeah. Is the fact that while you are kissing, while you are helping my wound, you also kissing it. You're adding this yeah. other thing that's making adding. me dizzy. Oh, okay. Now, adding the physical touch. Yeah, and I don't know whether it's a good thing to mix the two, that's whether a- to mix love with physical, because I think that's what messes us up for the most part. Why not love who we love? And then have sex with who we have sex with and make sure it's totally yeah. different people and therefore sex is just for procreating and and, and physical pleasure. in and out it's like uh, it depends because it could be a good thing you know if, i've just it, never tried it like that you know like, it could be a good thing in both in mm. both circumstances yeah if you separate them it could work out but then what mm. if now if it's only used for procreate you know too much of a good thing it it fizzes out you be like i know i need I I feel you, you know, I, but I now when just... you mix the two, it could also make you now too dizzy. Mm. You know, mm. sometimes you know maybe what what we could do, right? Instead of jumping straight to sex, why she's kissing you and and, and healing you? Ne? Yeah. She kisses you only on the cheek. You mm. know, decrease the amount. <laughs> <laughs> if there was a way to decrease, well, it depends what body part. Yeah, decrease. Well, like, so okay. there's no love. No. There's no. It's not. That's why. Love. Yeah, certain people. And they have sex with certain people. They they just don't kiss. Yeah, they just check. They just get in the physical. And, and you know that you know that's good. It's not even quite sex. A lot of porn doesn't have kissing. Yeah. Oh yeah. To avoid, yeah, it's yeah. just it's just straight to it. Like they might kiss in the beginning just because it's a scene. Yeah. They're trying to act out, but when it, they're actually in the action, it's not very you know sensual. They yeah. rather use the word sensual. Yeah. It's all about just sex, sex, sex. You see. So no, I feel you. Um, that's about it, my brother. Oh, but it was nice. Eh? This was nice. Yeah, uh, yeah. I had some other things, but we got to must do round two. Hey, hey, we're talking so much about sex now. Round two, some sounds like something else. Round two. Ah, yeah, ah, the person. Must be talking about <laughs> kissing friends. Kissing you. Oh, Let's get out let's of this go. room where we are alone. So. Hey. As soon oh. as possible, lay, man. Hey. I am, I'm anyway, <laughs> thanks, my nigga. Well, Thank you so really. much for coming through. Um, parting words, would you like to say anything and maybe give us some of your contact information, social media mm-hmm. information? If you put have me on the spot, put me on the spot. I guess, yeah, what I'd like to say is parting word, our, our topic, which relates to our topic, would be, yeah. you know, uh, for the fans out there. Mm. Uh, think about your body language you know mm. you know think about your body language you know and then tell your partner mm. you know that's how you it's gonna help with that attraction you know mm. now start to get attracted to get get attracted to people who 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 are able to give that body language you know oh, if your body language you, oh wh- who like touch yeah right? we like yeah because some, like sometimes love language yeah your love language yeah, yeah. You know, my my mine what mine is touch. Or people who who match action. up to that, or are yeah. willing to give that. Yeah. So mine is action. So you know, mm. I'm not really. You know, you can always say I love you, but you know, sharp. I'm attracted to you. Wanna, that, but, you wanna, but action wise, yeah. You want you want gifts. I want you gifts. Want... Yeah. Mm. So yeah, if you get attracted, you find that partner. Don't let her go. Focus on that. Yeah. yeah. Don't let don't I let like he, her or him go. You know. Yeah, I, all, all day. I'm definitely there in my in my life in now. Life. It's, okay. it's like um, I see that before I see a pretty picture now or a pretty face. Yeah, I see so, or the way someone conducts themselves. Yeah. I even check the social media. Like, are you always reposting memes where you're just complaining, or are your memes uplifting? Are you posting something that's important, good yeah. messages? You know what I'm saying? Like, there is a difference, and I, I've I've paid more attention to that and said that this does matter as much as it might just seem like a facebook repost but yeah. you are attracted to these things these this chaos or something yeah. and and it doesn't serve me therefore i move to someone who's more on my wavelength I, or wants to solve problems and then so then i, I don't Not know if you want complain yeah? hey, i don't know if you want also my whatsapp number uh, so yeah for what i don't know what's whatsapp going number for tinder yeah what's yeah, going for zero eight three <laughs> six zero two seven four nine four yeah, mm. that's WhatsApp. You know, my Instagram. What are they using WhatsApp for? <laughs> uh, if, the, if if a lady, cause I'm single. Oh, okay. Yeah, hey. hey. yeah. Why new? I'm more. Hey. Sure, sure. So I'm you. single. So then now, uh, Instagram, uh, people won't be able to to uh, to write, but hopefully someone can type it properly. Yeah. It's what Mutimboa Kabak. 
91. Mutimba Kabak 91. 91. Yeah. M U T I M M B W A K A B A K 91. 91. Yeah. The number. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's that's one word, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Hopefully you guys can go there and follow him and and meet him on WhatsApp. Yeah. And you'll find your attraction. Attraction. Thank you so much, my brother. Um this was a nice one. I learned so much. So engaging. Um thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Away. And thank you to everyone else for listening. Um, this was a lovely episode. Thank you for listening to another episode of D Light Side of Life. Peace. Hey, I've been thinking about how much I've been thinking about you and how crazy it is that I miss you this much because I shouldn't. Considering that on this day, just a week ago, we slipped on wine, we lost track of time. We kissed all night And didn't stop until the morning light We sipped on wine We lost track of time We kissed all night Didn't stop until the morning